good morning everyone welcome back to another vlog as you can see through the windows it is snowing it is absolutely freezing even in here it is just too cold there are a couple of things that need to be done today though so unfortunately i do have to get out there uh it's not going to snow the whole day so it's not the end of the world but it is not ideal so first things first uh let's quickly cover the list of things that needs to be done one i need to fertilize the field in front of us our field i need to lime our field and i do technically speaking need to plow our field but i'm not going to do that now i'll do that on the next after the next harvest we'll plow and reseed and all that stuff uh, i don't want to do that now in the winter because it's just going to be too difficult if the ground freezes over it's just not ideal so i'm not going to do that now and if the snow melts it's going to be an absolute muddy mess which will make working impossible so ideally we do that in a drier uh, at a drier time of the year anyway and then i also need to do similar things for ryan's farm now i did have a bit of a discussion with ryan uh, corn prices are currently going up quite a lot and he is considering not made the decision yet but he is considering doing some of his fields focusing on corn which would be pretty interesting i think that's going to be a cool a cool idea that is still way off uh, i think planting season if i'm not mistaken i myself haven't done corn but from a quick little bit of research i think it's middle of the year ish so or maybe early summer so that would happen maybe in the next couple of months and then the exciting thing is i remember was it the previous vlog i think it was the previous vlog it was a shorter one but we uh, i did mention that i saw something i think i saw something that i want to go investigate so we might get to that today first things first though i gotta brave this cold right i'm gonna grab my jacket and jump inside the tractor and uh yeah <laughs> We'll have a, I think, uh, we'll fertilize, I think. We'll start with fertilizing, maybe liming. I don't know, we'll see what we have. Actually, I need to go check. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. Nothing to it but to do it. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Right, so we've got actually full of fertilizer. We do have some lime. So this, I believe, does both. Oh, wow, I'm going to get in the tractor. Uh, I need to move that out of the way. Come on. I might have to let this heat warm up a little bit before we actually get moving. Because uh, it's not really great for diesel engines to just start moving immediately when it's still cold. So we've got to move the window. We can put it down there. Oof, look at that. That is really close. Anyway, put that down there and then hook up that and just quickly fertilize this. I don't think we have to fertilize and lime in a specific order. We're going to try it anyway. See how it goes. Hopefully it stops snowing soon. But we'll see. Right, I think that might be good enough to start work working, to start moving. We're not going to rev it too high. We're just going to get it going a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It seems fine. Okay, cool. At least it's a fairly goodish condition tractor. It's not a super old tractor, so it actually warms up pretty quickly. All right, let's hook this up. And we're literally just going to pop it in there. I'm not even going to look forward. Revved it a little bit high there. I mean, I will have to, obviously, when I'm actually starting to do the job. Just make sure I don't hit the truck here. Ooh, that's actually very close, but we're fine. We're fine. All right, and let's hook up the fertilizer. Fairly confident this is fertilizer. It looks like fertilizer. It is fertilizer, so that's good. Right, unfortunately, I will not be able to put up the drone in this weather. So I will, I guess I'll see you guys when I'm done with all of this. Uh... If the weather f changes before I'm finished, then I will t put up the the drone. But for now, I'll just see you when I'm done. 
all right guys that's all done that was pretty quick pretty easy to do to be honest uh yeah nothing interesting we've all seen and done that multiple times before so pretty quick and easy can't complain how i nearly caused an act oh the road slippery nearly caused an accident there but uh at least we didn't so it's okay right so i want to show you the uh thing that i'm quite excited about kind of excited i don't know if there's any need any 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 reason to be excited about it but i kind of feel like there is it's pretty cool uh it's uh yeah i'm just uh, i i it's similar to the whole shed situation like we had an opportunity with a shed unfortunately i believe it's still there last i saw last i drove past yeah it's still there so uh we don't have the time for that unfortunately uh we just do not have the time we uh we're way too busy with Ryan's farm now, and that would take literally days upon days to get all of that. So I don't think that is worth getting that shoe. That uh, you can see this farmer really wow. The guy that took over here really uh, works fast. Oh, actually, we're supposed to go in here. Um, right. So you guys are probably wondering what the hell is this guy doing? I'm gonna leave the truck running because it's freaking freezing and i don't want it to be cold in my cabin right let's uh let's jump out i mean look at that this guy's not messing around jeez okay anyway so are you ready are you ready for this now there is no word yet on whether we can actually have this there we go so I got in this the other day as you can see it must have something happened right like it's it's pinned up against this tree it's fairly old like it's it's a big ass tractor but it's it's been here apparently for a very very long time so right as you can see it literally has no fuel in it i don't even know if it'll start nope nope the key is still in like the key is just here it's literally just a simple key but yeah it's not even starting there's nothing nothing happening uh so yeah i essentially asked around and nobody can tell me who the owner was of the tractor so i plan on going to have a word with the council and ask if i can take it off the council's hands i've actually got a meeting in 20 minutes at the county hall to talk about this so yeah uh, i'm very excited i think so obviously currently it's not running currently it is it doesn't have any fuel and it looks to be in a pretty bad state but from what i can see nothing seriously is broken as in the axles are still working the drive shafts are still working every or it looks to be in 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 working order at least as in it looks to be in one piece so i'm kind of thinking if we can get this out of here which which is going to be a mission don't get me wrong i am under no illusion that this will be a pretty daunting task i think the best way to go is probably up here or well we'll have to hire a uh, uh, low, uh, low bed, what, what do you call them again? You know what I mean, like the low bed trailers. Reverse it in here. Maybe hook up the tractor pulling it to a couple of trees to stop it from moving. And then wrench that thing up there. That's the only thing I can think of, or maybe pull it up with another tractor. I don't know, something like that. It's going to be quite an operation to get this out. But if we can get it, as in not have to pay any money for it, I reckon it's worth a shot. Because, I mean, that's a pretty cool tractor. It's pretty big. It's, it's got to be quite old. So maybe, maybe like, I don't think it's antique, but I think it's so cool. Anyway, uh, maybe that way won't work. We could, if we could maybe get it unhinged from here the only problem is we don't really can't really guide it 
So I have tried the steering. So like the steering works to some degree. Like it's very difficult, but I can feel it. It it works. Obviously, it's two wheels. So without the power and without the um, hydraulic steering or power steering, it's nearly impossible to move these tires while one is wedged on top of. Actually, the tire itself is not on the tree, but all the weight seem to be on the front on the front wheels. So I feel like it'll work. Might have to do some work on the engine. Might have to do some some work on the body. I don't know. But we've got Nick for that. I don't know. I'm very excited. I'm going to go... Oh, crap. I've got 15 minutes. Actually, it's it's like a five-minute drive. If not, if It's not even a five-minute drive. So I'm going to head to County Hall and have a chat to the lady. This actually might be a valid option here as well. So pull it out there. And maybe more slanted so like th this isn't too steep actually this could work if you pull it this way yeah this could work oh yeah this could definitely work we could maybe hook the side up to like that tree and that tree so it doesn't slide down and then just kind of pull it with a wrench with a with you know what like a uh, yeah you know what i mean pull it down here like hook it up to i don't know a tractor or something over here I reckon, I reckon I can do that. I reckon between myself and Nick, we can sort it out. Right. It is freezing. And I've got a meeting in 15 minutes. So, and I like being a little bit early. Right. So, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. It's probably going to be quite a task because I'd have to, if we get permission. Now, I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself here. But if we do get permission to take it for free, I don't know if I'd pay anything for it. Then... Uh, we'd have to hire a low bed trailer for it. We'd have to get a tractor or something with some form of wrench to it. Some pulley system. I don't know. It's not going to happen today. That's for damn sure. Uh, I would have liked it to happen today, but that is just not going to happen. I am speeding. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm very excited. I think it's going to be so cool. It could be so cool if we can, can make it work. Also... I am today, because I think today is the last day, I'm going to go give the Lintrack Super Cup a go. Uh, one of you guys commented that it is a racetrack. It's not actually a go-kart racetrack. It, ooh, crap, I went past. It's not actually a go-kart racetrack. It is literally a Lintrack Super Cup track uh, for tractors. It's like a tractor obstacle course, essentially, which I'm going to give a go soon on soon once we're done here we'll we'll jump in there and see how it goes right so parking i'll just jump in here quickly sorry sir i know i'm driving like a bit of an idiot okay we'll stop here i wish i could leave the truck running but unfortunately not right i'm gonna jump inside sit and wait and have the meeting and chat to the lady and i'll see you guys in a short while Oh, okay guys, I'm back in the truck. I've been, to be honest, been sat here for about five minutes just to heat it up before I started talking and recording because I was shivering. It is freaking freezing and they don't have heating in the council hall for some reason. Poor people that are working in there. They have like their personal little heaters under their desks, but the building itself is freaking freezing. Uh, I guess it's like listed or something, so they can't, I don't know. I don't know what it, what's going on there, but it's freaking freezing. Anyway, so uh good news to some degree we can have the tractor we can uh remove it as long as we can do so safely without putting any live or structures in danger and as long as 15 percent of whatever profit the tractor makes goes back to the county which i feel like is a little bit unfair i was i was a little bit pissed off at that to be honest because it's just laying there right it's it's not making any profit and this is just kind of the county's way of just making money off of me at this point. So if I sell it, then 15% of that profit will go to... Why are there so many... Are there kids, like, vandalizing the town or something? Anyway, then 15% uh, of the profits have to go to the county. Which, again, pissed me off a little bit, but I guess that's okay. So these guys are actually kind of closed. Uh, they're not actually... I'm going to keep the, the truck running, to be honest. Uh, they are actually closed, but they said I am more than welcome to swing by 
while they are packing up the rest of the stuff and we can have a look at uh, giving me a couple of run throughs so i'm gonna i'm gonna jump on here and just have a quick look see if i can i can achieve anything right <laughs> i'm kind of excited let's go all righty so we are getting ready it says uh there's a time limit on this obviously and we can't actually use the drone unfortunately so we'll just have to i'm not gonna necessarily worry too much about time i'm just gonna go for it just gonna kind of nice and steadily try and do what i need to do so gotta pick this up then i believe i've got to pick that up then i've got to lower this not put it down from what i can understand so why is it not lowering hmm Oh, I'm on the wrong thing here. Whoops. Is that it? There we go. And now I've got to put this down. So they have like these boxes that it needs to be in. So... Got to kind of guess... for it to be in the right place and we can't see the box no it's got to go further back down right I think yeah and now we've got to put this down go and now we've got to go this is going to be difficult we're going to have to balance on this now oh wow this is this is kind of scary so actually the light goes on if we're actually balanced there we go righto so apparently we dropped one tennis ball and we did about two minutes something so the guys are actually pretty impressed considering the fact that it was it's snowing and everything is slippery they're most impressed with the with the balance because i literally did that straight in so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I did not expect it. To be honest, I was quite worried about that. I thought that was going to be quite difficult. But really wasn't that difficult. Anyway, right. So, I'm freezing. And I want to go home, to be honest. Uh, there's not much we can do right now. Uh, there's a couple of things that need to happen on Ryan's farm, but we're still waiting for equipment. Uh, we can use our fertilizer and lime spreader. To be honest, it's probably not a bad idea because it's quite a, it can spread quite a large area, but its capacity is so small that we would literally do like a tank per quarter of a strip. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, he is sending some, some are going to be delivered in the next couple of months, a uh, couple, couple of months, a uh, couple of days. So we will be able to get that done before it's too late and then uh i did have a quick little chat with him again about the corn and apparently corn planting is april and may if i'm not mistaken so yeah he is very very strongly considering that so that would be cool there is a, apparently a pretty big demand for corn in the world right now and therefore corn corn prices are rising I mean, to be honest, it's not much warmer in here. Uh, right, I need... I think I might just turn the oven on and just leave it open. 
Is that dodgy? I, I, it probably is, but to be honest, it is freaking freezing. I might just get in my sleeping bag, to be honest, and just chill for the rest of the day. Uh, it shouldn't really be snowing anymore, yet it still is, for some reason. Oh well, it is what it is, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we just, uh, it's just one of those kind of like, uh, Netflix days, you know? So, I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the day, and I will probably see you guys in the next vlog. So, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. See ya!